machining photography and video over time you find the lenses you like you don't like your go-to's the occasional lenses and the ones you rent because they're too expensive but today i'm talking about my three favorite third-party lenses for the sony system what are your three favorite lenses let me know down in the comments below you can have one two three four ten just let me know what your favorite lenses are. You can find the links to all the gear I mentioned in this video in the description down below, plus a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound, but more on them later. Disclaimer, I use multiple camera bodies and I will be making more than one video about my three favorite lenses based on each camera body. And that will be first party and third party. I might even go into adapted, not really sure yet. But since we're focusing on Sony third party lenses, my first go to on the list is the Tamron 17 and 28 F 2.8. I no longer own this lens because I traded in for the Sony 20 millimeter, which was a great choice and a bad choice at the same time. Having the extra three millimeters on a 17 to 28 was great when it comes to making these videos, but I constantly found myself zooming into 20 millimeters and I have the 16 to 35 Zeiss in case I need something wider, which I talked about in another video on this playlist. I will be linking this video into at the end of this video. There's a lot of videos. The 17 to 28 was my go-to because it was wide, it's fast. And when zooming in at 28, you got even more shallow depth of field and a bit more compression. The 17 to 28 is an internal zoom lens, which means it stays the same size when zooming in and out which definitely helps when you're outside and it magically starts raining or snowing. It has a focus ring and a zoom ring and that's it. It is a great lens for photography, especially video, which is what I mostly used it for. I highly recommend this lens if you're looking for a budget lens that will exceed your expectations when it comes to usability and quality. Like the music from Epidemic Sound, which this link right here on the screen somewhere will get you 10% off your first 12 month subscription to Epidemic Sound plus a 30 day free trial. Second up is the Tamron 28 75 f2.8, which I still own. It is a great mid-range zoom lens that will knock your socks off. I will overlay some footage I captured for an event I recently shot solely with the 28 75 f2.8. I have another event that's coming up that I will be using this lens on, but it has a focus ring and a zoom ring that's similar to the 17 28. I use this lens for every video project I've worked on in the past year, except these YouTube videos. I can see why most people love the 24 to 70 zoom range, although this isn't as wide as a 24 millimeter it is longer than 70 millimeter and that extra five millimeters comes in handy it isn't a 24 to 105 f4 which i definitely want to get my hands on but it's good enough now this isn't an internal zoom like the 17 to 28 so i'm always worried about dust and moisture getting into the lens although it is weather sealed or weather resistant however if it happens it happens that's a risk of having lenses that exceed or extend or protrude outside of the barrel but i highly recommend this lens if you're looking for a budget lens that will exceed your expectations when it comes to usability quality reach and versatility side note I thought when getting into the E-mount system that anything less than G Master was a no-go when it comes to quality or creating quality content, but I was wrong. Now, if I had access to G Master quality glass, I would use it in a heartbeat. But as of right now, the Tamron 20 to 75, 2.8 does what I needed to do and it does it well. And now third on the list is the Sigma 18 to 35 F 1.8. Although this is an EF lens, and I believe it is a crop sensor lens. I adapted it to Sony and it was great. Sigma quality speaks for itself. It has a zoom ring, a focus ring, and I believe a manual focus or autofocus switch. At this point in my book, the 18 to 75 was the closest I got into G Master quality. I guess you can say it was a little better than G quality. I no longer have this lens. I sold it. I was accumulating too much gear, had to downsize in the 1835 did not make the cut. The main reason I let it go was because I wanted a native mount lens. This was my go-to zoom call lens while I was in college. The 18 to 35 would have been my second most used lens next to the 16 to 35 F4, which I've used religiously over the past two years. The main attractor of the Sigma 18 to 35 was the F 1.8. The lens renders a sharp image, shallow depth of field and paired with a pro mist filter, I would argue a pleasing image. If I had it, I would definitely demonstrate it for you, but it made its way on this list and it will probably end up back on my shelf sometime in the future. Like the present, past, and future videos you can find in this playlist right here on my favorite native and third party lenses for all the camera bodies or camera systems that I use. Thanks for joining, subscribing, liking, and staying awesome. Stay awesome.